big buzzword, I think, in um, in business uh, these days is uh, coaching. You know, like the the leader as the coach, the manager as the coach. But you know, if you look around at most what you might call coaching skills development programs, they're a bit fluffy. Um, and you know, and you, you wind up going like, okay, it's a nice idea, and how do I actually do this? So, um, as with many of the things I've talked about in, in business, is that NLP is very procedural. So if we apply the NLP toolbox to the situation of coaching, and in business it would be coaching people to improve their performance then you've got structured ways of coaching someone so that they're motivated for their reasons rather than yours. Uh, structured ways to enable you to not only engage people's minds, but also their heart. You know, we, you hear a lot, well, you know, we want our employees' hearts and minds. Great, how do you do that? Ooh, uh, don't know. Uh, whereas NLP goes, okay, if you want hearts and minds, then what we do is we do this, we do this, we do this, we do this, and boom, their hearts engaged. If we uh, looked as well as far as like, a lot of coaching is around feedback. A lot of people in business, you know, go feedback, you mean um, criticism? Well, no, I mean, feedback. What is the ultimate purpose of feedback is behavior modification, uh, to have somebody behave differently. So how do you give feedback in a way that the person actually, not only consciously, but unconsciously modifies their behavior, which improves their performance uh, on the job? Um, and that's a real winning formula, both for the coach and for the coachee. Thank you.